This is the cruelest prison in history. More than 800 inmates' asses and mouths were sewn together to make an extra long snake. The first person in the line is able to eat in shit. Because this is the only way to ensure that the inmates behind them do not starve to death. They did this just to save money for the prison. The warden is a ruthless man. Every time he went to visit the inmates, the inmates were always displeased with him. They gave him the middle finger and despised him. If the cage hadn't been there, he would have been dead. The warden had to shoot to vent his anger. Then he took those who disrespected him and tied them to the bed in a room. He looked at him viciously. He brings a towel and puts it over the prisoner's face. He makes a gesture of triumph and pours boiling water directly on the prisoner's face. If one bucket is not enough, he pours another one. He tormented all the prisoners who disobeyed him. But instead of increasing his authority, this prison's medical bills went up. The high cost of the prison drew the displeasure of the minister. So the minister put down some tough words. If you can't control the expenses in three days, you'll be out of here. The warden had to nod and agree. After the minister left, the warden became even more furious. In order to keep his position, he grabbed a prisoner and had two guards hold him down. He used a knife to cut open the prisoner's pants and removed his genitals. He also asked the cook to cook the genitals in front of him. Looking at the delicacy in front of him, he expressed great satisfaction. He ate it with great pleasure. The secretary was sickened by the sight of it. He thought that such a perverted criminal law would make the prisoners more afraid. However, instead of being afraid, the prisoners were even worse than before. He was so angry that he went up to the prisoner and strangled him to death. Fortunately, the doctor saved him. This made him completely devastated. He used all kinds of criminal law, but still cannot suppress these prisoners. It seems that he will really be expelled. Just when the warden was worried, the secretary at the side gave him an idea. In order to make the prisoners obedient, they plan to sew the inmates' mouths and asses together to make a human centipede. This will not only unify the management, but also save a lot of money. And no one will ever disrespect the warden again. When the warden heard this, he thought it would be impossible to do. So the secretary invited the director of the human centipede and the doctor of the prison to start studying. The director and the professional doctor both said, this operation can be done and it will not kill anyone. When the director of the prison heard such a positive answer, the prison is on hand, gentlemen. We start immediately. The perverted prison warden showed the inmates a film of the human centipede before the operation. He told them to prepare themselves in advance. After watching the film, the inmates commented on how such a disgusting film could be made. They did not know that they would be turned into a centipede like the people in the movie. At that moment, the prison warden came up with a pistol. He shot at the stage. Then he said his plan. On your fucking hands and knees. Your ugly pussy mouth sewn to an unwise asshole. When he finished, the prisoners were furious. They rushed out after the warden. The warden and his secretary ran into the office. Then they summoned the prison guard brigade. In a short time, the inmates all caught up with him. The tattooed man took a fire extinguisher and smashed a big hole in the door. The warden jumped out of the window. Fortunately, the guards arrived in time to subdue them. Angry, the warden brought a tranquilizer gun. He put the anesthetic in the barrel of the gun. The prisoners were like lambs to the slaughter. They were shot one by one by the warden, watching the prisoners pass out. The warden danced happily with a drink in his left hand and a cigar in his right. The warden came to the medical room. The doctor told him it was a man with chronic diarrhea. Work is his ass. The warden thought directly of the tattooed man who had defied him before. The tattooed man pleaded with him for the first time. Don't sew me into a human centipede. I beg you. The warden looked at him begging for mercy and became more excited. Those wardens who were physically ill and could not participate in the operation just killed them. Then he set up a huge tent in the playground. The next operation was about to begin. This was the most brutal operation ever. The doctor connected the ass of the person in front with the mouth of the person behind. Those sentenced to death were even more brutal. He cut off their hands and feet and joined them together. The director of the movie was so disgusted that he threw up after seeing it. After the operation was over, the director of the prison was very excited. He couldn't wait to invite the minister to come and inspect the operation. The minister was stunned to see the long human centipede. What the hell is this? The warden introduced his masterpiece. The killer is feeding the whole humanitarian system behind 
and this black wine here has to become a at that moment someone was digesting food the minister looked at it and felt sick to his stomach the warden also said if you connect the people in the back with the people in the front they don't need to eat any food just give them some water and vitamins he also upgraded the punishment for prisoners on death row he pulled off their limbs and made them into human caterpillars then he took the minister to see the people who were about to be released from prison even if their surgical sites were removed they would only have small scars it wouldn't do any harm to their bodies at all he thought the minister would praise him but the minister was angry you insane freaks you get the death penalty for this then he slammed the door in anger and left the warden was instantly furious he was about to hit the secretary with his gun at that moment the doctor came in he was excitedly bragging about the success of his surgery when the warden shot him then he aimed at the secretary's head again he was about to pull the trigger when the minister came back through the door he suddenly changed his attitude this may even get me elected president you convinced me it's genius he praised the warden and then left happily the two of them hugged each other in excitement it was a thrill but the warden slowly picked up the gun and killed the secretary directly because the always arrogant and domineering warden could not share the credit with others